what we do here is go back, 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 back. Good morning guys uh, I'm just getting my breakfast in here uh, doing a quick intro for this one I've actually got some stuff to set up I just uploaded a video for you guys and I know some of you guys get those notifications real early it's uh, what time is it it's 527 in the morning so sorry if I wake any of you guys up with those posts but I gotta post them when I can because I'm really busy and if you see the next, or well, if you're seeing this video, obviously you watch the other one that's saying I'm going out and I'm going to spend the next two days on the ice. So by, I think by, well, you guys should be seeing this by like Wednesday, Thursday. It's going to end up later in the week just because I'm going to spend, uh, this is Monday and Tuesday out there. I plan on sleeping in my truck. So we're gonna try that out, see how that goes, uh, see how cold I can, how much cold I can stand. Um, other than that, I'm gonna be heading up to Winnebago again because it's been pretty good up there to me, and it's a new body of water, so it's kind of exciting getting to know it better and better every time I go. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video, and if you're seeing this, we get on some fish. Here, just go back, 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 back. Finally found some of these little buggers. They're coming in through suspended schools out here. And I got one white bass so far, besides this guy. Um I haven't been wearing the GoPro on top because I've been moving so much. But that's a that's like a 12 inch, 13 inch walleye. So hopefully you can get some bigger ones. So you guys will get a kick out of this. I had to go to the bathroom, so my new dead stick holder. They actually like they're actually in there pretty good. So something came by, took a bite out of it. Just come back to the fish. You know, just some improv stuff for you guys that drive out on the ice. Hey guys, uh, just trying to. I'm gonna wrap things up here. Uh, if I, if I throw any clips in from after this, uh, I'll let you know, but pretty long day drilling holes on the ice on Winnebago, as it can be. Uh, I got one white bass that's that I kept, and then I got one 15-inch walleye that I kept. Um, so far, I got one little cigar, probably 10-incher, went back down. Um, I forgot what time it is. I, th I think it's right around 3.30, 4 o'clock. Got about an hour of sunlight left. I might be able to pick up a couple more walleye. Um, that's the idea. I might move once or twice more. But I want to get this taken care of. Um, this is day one. Um, this is where I'll be sleeping tonight. Still debating on if I'm gonna just stay out here and sleep back there um, just because of the sake of I, I like the idea of starting my truck when it's parked on the ice because your batteries don't really like sitting over the well, block of ice all night long so you you know it's a good idea to start your truck in the middle of the night and I'd like to sleep all night so I might park on an on one of the accesses and then uh, drive back on in the morning um, 
I'm still debating on if I want to chase white bass and walleye or perch tomorrow or if I want to try and go find some of the gills and crappie. Um, optimally, it'd be cool to go in the morning and get some gills and crappie and then come back out here and get a real big walleye for you guys and myself because I've been wanting walleye for a little while now. So, um, If you guys made this far, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to put this one out first and then uh, after this video, which this one will be pretty short and simple, um, it'll be tomorrow's video. So stay tuned for that. I, it'll probably be later in the week or maybe this next weekend. So thanks for watching and stay tuned and we'll be right back with the next episode. What we do here is go back, 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 back.